So the, the profit maximizing problem for the firm is to maximize PY such that the production plan Y be technologically feasible must be in the production set. Another formulation is to say that Y that f of y, I'm sorry, using the transformation function must be negative or equal to zero. By definition, the transformation function is such uh, that it represents, it's a convenient way of representing the production set. Uh, here, just a quick note, by the way, when you look at this expression here, both p and y are both, they're both vectors of the same dimension which is uh, L, the number of uh, commodities in the space. And since the, the, the convention is to use negative signs for inputs, when multiplied by their own respective prices, that will be interpreted as a cost. And on the other hand, output, which has a positive sign attached to it, will be interpreted as just simply revenue, right, when multiplied by the price of output. So we we find that we're really looking at the net profit, revenue, less expenses, and we're trying to maximize this. This is the, um, the, the, the problem that the firm faces, and or the problem that the firm is uh, supposed to face in, in all of this theory. And we can identify uh, some solutions to this problem. We have a profit function, which is really the value function. Um, which is the, 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 the maximum value um, for PY, right? So the maximum value of PY is such that Y is uh, technologically feasible. And the supply correspondence, which, which is really the solution bundle to this problem, which maximizes PY, supplies, su uh, supply correspondent is defined as technologically feasible production plans, which are such that PY is equal to the maximum value that it can take, which is the profit function. Okay. So, uh, supply correspondence is really Y star, the optimal bundle, the profit function, is uh, PY star, the value function.